Recording. Oh. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. Hello, Byron. How are you doing today? Good evening. I am good. Awesome. Okay, very good. Very good, guys. Thank you for being here and thank you for being on time, Byron. I can see that you are always on time. Thank you. Hello, Patricia. Hello. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you. Good evening. We have two Patricias in the team. We have Patricia Veronica and Patricia Sanchez. ¿Cómo hacemos aquí? A ver. Verónica y Patricia, ¿o cómo? ¿Está bien así? Would that, would that be okay? How do you like to be called, Patricia, Verónica? Hi, teacher. Um, How would you prefer to be called? What would you like to be called? Um, Verónica está bien. Veronica is fine. Yes. Very yes. good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's good because we have two Patricias in the group. So that's good. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, welcome, uh, Dora. Welcome, Maricela. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Dora. How are you doing today? Are you guys? I was, I was very happy, teacher, and because I out uh, my house mm -hmm. because I I have the the graduation school. For oh, my, okay. My daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Very good. Congratulations to your daughter. So she had mm -hmm. her you. graduation today. Okay, good. Very good. Mm -hmm. That sounds really good. Very good. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Dora. Thank you. Muy bien, Alicia. Alicia. I forgot. Alicia. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Bueno. Bueno, buenas noches a todos, guys. Muchas gracias por estar aquí otra vez. Eh, el día de ayer... El día de ayer, si ustedes se acuerdan, estábamos hablando acerca de, de dos cosas, ¿verdad? Ese era el tema que teníamos para el día de ayer. Eh, estábamos hablando acerca de evaluaciones con nombres y adjetivos. Y también, por otra parte, estábamos hablando de eh, comparaciones, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, ayer nos quedamos, eh, estábamos practicando, pero yo creo que todavía quizás necesitamos reforzar más esa parte, ¿verdad? porque algunos creo que todavía nos cuesta un poquito. Y aparte de que pues era también bastante información, ¿verdad? Era bastante eh, teoría, por así decirlo. Entonces, eh, para el día de ahora, guys, vamos a continuar. Vamos a practicar un poco más. Vamos a refrescar la información otra vez para que ustedes pues despejen todas las dudas que tienen. ¿De acuerdo? Así que eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Ok, eh... So do you guys have any questions? Uh, thank you. Okay, do you guys have any questions or anything that you would like to say about the, the topic, about the class? How do you feel the topic? Because I know that some of you probably feel like it is hard, right? So what do you think that is the most difficult thing about the topic? Teacher, for me, uh, it's difficult uh, to um, speak in the sentence, mm -hmm. but I remember, but okay. um, the I speak, it's difficult to remember the sentence. Okay, very good. Uh, me era difícil, me era difícil como poner esas palabras que en qué momento tenía que poner, eh, porque como nos habló de diferentes estructuras, 
Correcto. Entonces sí. eran diferentes, así que me costaba en qué momento ahorita, cuál es la que tengo que usar, entonces eso fue un poco complicado a la hora de ponerlo en práctica, pero eh, pues de alguna forma hablamos un poco ahí con mi compañera, pero sí, esa creo que fue la parte un poco difícil para mí. I see. Ok. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Iris. Thank you. So, yes, I think that probably at the beginning it's going to be hard uh, to know what words we need to use. Uh, sometimes probably the order uh, for the, the sentences that may be complicated at first. So, we are going to practice, guys. Okay, don't worry about that. We're going to practice. We're going to check the information one more time so you don't have any questions about it. Okay, uh, yes, Maricela, please go ahead. So from my point of view, teacher, I consider that we had to separate different kind of structure because yesterday it was a lot of theory. Yes. And for that reason, it was complicated Yes. for my class may uh, create different sentences with the yeah. structures. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That's very good. Thank you for letting me know that, Maricela. And yes, I agree. Uh, I think that we need to separate like the different uh, structures that we have so it can be easier for you. So that is what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about it and I think that we can review the information. We can also like uh, separate the information into different parts so it can be easier for you to remember. Okay, so that is what we're going to do, guys. Okay, uh, thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Maricela. You're welcome. All right, guys. So, vamos a ver por acá. Permítame un instante nada más. Okay. Recuerden de que para esta semana, eh, nuevamente, ¿verdad? Un anuncio. Eh, tenemos que completar la sección 3. Sí, no, perdón. Sí, la sección 3. Y el examen de midterm, ¿ok? Midterm mid exam. Correcto. The midterm exam. Thank you, Byron. So, yes, those are the two things that we need to do. Okay. I think that you need to complete that by Thursday. Okay. So, give me a second, guys. Need to do something here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, let's see here. Expressing wishes. Let's go back. Ok, guys, entonces vamos a revisar en lo que estábamos viendo el día de ayer, ¿de acuerdo? Lo vamos a separar en, más, en partes más pequeñas para que lo podamos entender mejor. Eso vamos a hacer. Entonces, eh, les voy a compartir por acá esta pantalla para que lo veamos. Vamos a ver. Bueno, entonces eh, teníamos acá nosotros que estábamos hablando de evaluaciones y comparaciones, ¿de acuerdo? Tenemos dos situaciones. Eh, las evaluaciones es cuando nosotros estamos, como por así decirlo, dando una opinión acerca de una cualidad, ¿ok? O acerca de algo, de, en este caso, de casas o apartamentos, ¿verdad? Y por otra parte, las comparaciones eran entre, digamos, dos elementos, como en este caso, las casas y los apartamentos, ¿ok? Esas son las comparaciones. Y las evaluaciones solamente era cuando nosotros hablábamos de como una cualidad o de qué cosas tenía una sola cosa, ok so, for example, ok we have here evaluations with adjectives, ok we have evaluation with adjectives and we have comparison with adjectives, ok so in this first situation, we are talking about just one thing, ok, we are talking about in this case, apartments Okay, we are saying apartments aren't big enough. That would be the sentence, okay? We are saying that apartments, just one thing, we are not comparing apartments with anything else. We are just saying that apartments are not big enough, okay, for families. That is what we're saying. And when it comes to the comparisons, we are comparing uh, two things, okay? Like houses aren't as convenient as apartments, okay? So we are comparing houses and apartments. That is the difference, guys, okay? So here we're talking just about one thing, and here we are talking about two things, okay? We are comparing two things in this case. Okay, let's see the, the next example here. It says apartments are too small for pets, okay? So we're saying, basically, 
that we think that apartments don't have enough space for pets, okay? That's what we're saying with that. And then we have a comparison. In that case, we're talking about houses in apartments. And we're saying that houses are just as convenient as apartments. So that is the difference, guys. Esa es la diferencia, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, eh, tenemos evaluaciones y tenemos comparaciones por el otro lado. Eh, entonces, evaluaciones, solamente hablamos de una cosa y estamos diciendo sobre una cualidad o sobre algo, una característica, ¿verdad? Y en cambio, la comparación, ya estamos hablando de dos cosas, comparando dos cosas, como las casas y los apartamentos, ¿ok? Las casas no son tan convenientes como los apartamentos, ¿ok? So, eh, in this case, as, it means like, eh, tan eh, convenientes como, ¿ok? Tan como a los apartamentos, ¿ok? Y aquí, houses are just as, eh, las casas son eh, casi tan convenientes como los apartamentos, ¿ok? Entonces, allí estamos comparando dos cosas, ¿de acuerdo? Esto es con los adjetivos, ¿ok? Tenemos evaluaciones con adjetivos y comparaciones con adjetivos, ¿ok? Luego, tenemos evaluaciones con nombres y comparaciones con nombres. Entonces, ayer decíamos de que en este caso nosotros utilizábamos una cualidad, ¿verdad? En las evaluaciones con adjetivos y las comparaciones con adjetivos. Mientras que por la otra parte, aquí nosotros no teníamos una cualidad, sino que teníamos un nombre. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, por ejemplo, el primer ejemplo dice Apartments don't have enough parking space. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces estamos diciendo que los apartamentos no tienen suficientes espacios para parqueo. Entonces acá estamos diciendo esto es un nombre. ¿De acuerdo? Espacios para parqueo es un nombre. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces estamos evaluando una cosa, un nombre. No es una cualidad, por así decirlo. No es una característica. Al igual que en este caso, en el segundo ejemplo. Dice, houses cost too much money. ¿Ok? Entonces acá estamos hablando de un nombre. Que es el dinero. ¿De acuerdo? Un nombre no contable en este caso. Or, ok. So then we have the next, uh, the next part. Which is comparison with nouns. ¿Ok? We had evaluations. And now we have comparisons with nouns. So we have the first example that says apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Okay. En este caso estamos hablando de otra vez eh, dos cosas como son los apartamentos y las casas. Los estamos comparando y decimos de que los apartamentos tienen eh, casi eh, o tienen prácticamente eh, tantos cuartos como las casas. Eso es lo que estamos diciendo ahí. Una comparación entre los dos. Y por el otro lado tenemos acá eh, que dice Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Entonces, eh, comparamos que los apartamentos no tienen tanta privacidad como las casas. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso es lo que tenemos acá. Evaluaciones y comparaciones. Eso es lo que tenemos. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, no sé si... Nos queda un poquito más claro ahora, guys, con esta parte. Solamente con esta parte. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you, guys. Okay. I hope that this is clear. All right. So we are going to we're going to listen to this uh, really fast, and then we are going to continue with the next. Uh, the next topic okay so let's 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 listen to the audio really quick here we go teacher not the teacher Ah, perdón, perdón. Gracias por avisarme. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Iris. Yes. I'm sorry about that, guys. So I'm going to go back. With nouns. 
Sí, perdón. Eh, había olvidado seleccionar la opción para compartir el audio. Ok, ahora sí vamos, guys. Sorry about that. Here we go. Comparisons. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there. And then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. This is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will, then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So a quick example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. Ok, de acuerdo, guys. Entonces, eh, si ustedes se fijan, en esta parte tenemos la estructura, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, ¿Cuál es la estructura? Es el sujeto, luego para esta parte de la comparación con adjetivos, nosotros utilizamos el verbo to be, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, sujeto, verbo to be, y en el video él menciona que puede ser tanto positivo como puede ser también negativo, ¿de acuerdo? Creo que esa era una de las preguntas que teníamos el día de ayer. Entonces, eh, sí, puede ser de las dos formas, ¿ok? En los, en los ejemplos que tenemos acá, solamente está eh, negativo, pero también puede ser positivo. Eh, por ejemplo, acá en lugar de houses aren't as convenient as apartments, we can say that houses are as convenient as apartments, okay? So it can be a positive statement too. It doesn't have to be negative all the time, okay? So it can be both, okay? Eh, de acuerdo, entonces tenemos la estructura, el sujeto, el verbo to be, positivo o negativo, de acuerdo? Luego, eh, vamos a colocar nosotros eh, esta, esta pequeña partícula que nos ayuda para unir eh, la oración con el adjetivo en este caso, porque estamos haciendo una comparación con adjetivos, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, eh, nuestros adjetivos son como los que estábamos viendo la vez anterior, ¿de acuerdo? Como comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small. So, any of those adjectives can go here, ¿ok? And it's going to go between as and as, ¿ok? So, as dangerous as and then there goes a noun in this case okay because we are making a comparison de acuerdo entonces guys como acá estamos comparando verdad entonces eh, colocamos as la, esta partícula luego el adjetivo cualquiera de estos luego otra vez la partícula as y a continuación va el nombre que es de la otra cosa con la que nosotros estamos comparando de acuerdo entonces houses aren't as bright as apartments for example or oh, apartments are as uh, noisy okay as noisy as houses de acuerdo entonces 
Esa sería como la estructura. Si ustedes se fijan, eh, es bastante sencillo, ¿de acuerdo? Y esto es para hacer comparaciones con adjetivos, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, vaya, vamos a, hacer, eh, vamos a hacer algo para que lo podamos eh, practicar. No sé si ustedes por allí donde, donde están pudieran anotar al menos tres ejemplos de esta parte. Comparaciones con adjetivos, utilizando esta estructura, ¿ok? Acá abajo tenemos eh, algunos de los adjetivos y ustedes eh, simplemente pueden eh, formular oraciones, ¿de acuerdo? Con esto. Así que por favor hagamos eso, anotemos al menos tres oraciones de comparaciones con adjetivos, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer eso. Ya cuando estén listos me avisan para que podamos, eh, podamos revisarlas, ¿ok? Vamos a revisar. De acuerdo. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos, guys? Ya tienen, ya tienen una, ya tienen dos, o ya tienen tres. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué tal vamos? I have one only. You only have one, okay? Thank you, Alicia. All right, so let's work on two more, please. Let's try to come up with two more. Intentemos pensar acerca de más, ¿de acuerdo, guys? Esto va a ser como un ejercicio para que nosotros intentemos uh, the city is in as quiet as the countryside. Okay, very good. Yes. Good example, Jacqueline. Thank you. Muy bien. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you. Says hamcocks aren't as comfortable as beds. Okay, that's good. Carlos. Michelle is as tall as me. Okay, yes. All right, guys. So for what would what I would like for you to do is that if you can say it, if you can say it, uh, if you can share that example with the class, like maybe you know, you can say it out loud rather than just just to send a message it is fine if you if you send a message but if you can if you can say it that would be even better okay vamos a ver acá hay otro ejemplo hospital is as big as okay as big as police stations Okay, uh, that is good, Marisela, but I think that there are just a couple of things that you can change. Uh, for example, you can say that hospitals, you know, in general are as big as police 
stations, okay? Flip-flops aren't as convenient as shoes. Cars are not as cheap as motorcycles. Okay, good. Buses are not as, as comfortable as cars. Muy bien, guys. Muy buenos ejemplos todos. Excelente. Sí, me gusta mucho. Estamos utilizando entonces la estructura que estamos viendo, ¿de acuerdo? Comparación con adjetivos. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. So, basketball isn't as exciting as football. Right. Bikes aren't as fast as... Okay, as motorcycles. Okay. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Eh, sí, Abigail. Can I say it? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Flights aren't as expensive as in holidays. The number two is houses is in town aren't as expensive as in city. Cars are mm -hmm. as comfort comfortable as in the past. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Abigail. Very good examples. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you. Muy bien, muchas gracias, Abigail. Eh, de verdad, muy buenos ejemplos. Gracias. Vamos a ver, tenemos a eh, Jacqueline, dice por ahí. My sister is as outgoing as me. Okay. Okay, very good, Jacqueline. Muy bien. Muy bien. A ver, ¿alguien más que se anime a participar, así como lo hizo Abigail? Uh, me teacher. Ok, eh, uh, va entonces a hacerlo Byron y después Patricia, ¿de acuerdo? Yes. The school as, is as spacious as college. San okay. Salvador isn't as safe as Santa Ana. Ok, very good. So, sí. San Salvador isn't as safe as Santa Ana. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Byron. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. All right, so now we go with Patricia and then Joel after that, okay? Okay, Apple products aren't as cheap as Android ones. Very good. Okay, very good. Yes. Is that the only example that you have, Patricia? Um, no. Black isn't as bright as yellow. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so much, Patricia. And good. the last one, sugar mm -hmm. is as sweet as honey. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good, guys. Okay. Now we're going to continue with Joel. Okay. Stephanie is as pretty as Beyoncé. Okay. Um, he is as tall as his father. Okay. That's all. Okay, thank you so much, Joel. Thank you. Very good. Good job. All right, so now we go with Alicia. Flip flop are inconvenient as shoes. Mm -hmm. And the second. Uh, alcohol aren't as health as water. Okay. All right. Uh, so remember, Alicia, that for most of the nouns, like, uh, you know, drinks and food, most of them are non-count nouns, okay? So you need to say alcohol isn't as healthy as water, okay, in this case. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Alicia. Thank you. Very good job. Thank you so much. All right. So now let's continue with Sofia. Uh, in the party, aren't as many people as there were last year. Okay. Very good. Very good, Sofia. Is that the only example that you have? Or do you have another example? Uh, we... Excuse me? Only example. That's the only example that you have. Okay. Very good job, Sofia. Thank you so much for sharing with the class. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. Very good job. Okay. Eh, bueno, guys. Muchas gracias por sus participaciones. De verdad, se los agradezco mucho. Y creo que ya vamos, eh, lo vamos asimilando cada vez mejor, ¿verdad? 
Así que vamos a continuar. Vamos a seguir con la siguiente parte, ¿de acuerdo? Muchas gracias también por todas las, eh, todas las participaciones en el chat. Eh, todas las estoy viendo, ¿de acuerdo? Así que muchas gracias también. De acuerdo, vamos a continuar. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as. Okay. Actually, um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as. And, and both will be the correct way of expressing it. So we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses. And that's my personal opinion, right? Or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses. And you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses, apartments are as spacious as houses, apartments are as convenient, just like we see the example there, right, as houses. And so remember that this kind of things, you're making comparisons, so maybe in your area, apartments are the same as houses, so they cost the same, you know, they are as big as houses. Uh, apartments are as convenient as houses, etc. Usually, that's not the case. Usually, there are big differences among houses and apartments. But in this case, we're saying that they are the same. What I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons. But this time, I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by nouns? Well, when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments, we can think of things like rooms, privacy, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house, those are nouns, if you will. And what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, as you can see, apartments is um, our uh, subject there. I'm going to go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen. So apartments, that follows the verb. The verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form. And then we're going to include as or just as, as you can see there. And after that, you will include many plus account now so I want you to pay attention to that real fast we're gonna have many plus account now and what do we mean by count nouns well count nouns are those things that you can easily count if you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non count nouns we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count or this will follow much plus a non-count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non-count? Well, again, recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non-count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there, apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments. And that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. And then again, you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments. What else can you say? Well, you can say that apartments don't
don't have as many windows as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. As many windows. De acuerdo. Entonces, guys, acá tenemos eh, ahora la comparación con nombres, ¿de acuerdo? Hace un momento vimos la comparación con adjetivos, ahora vamos con la comparación con nombres. Entonces, eh, acá tenemos casas versus apartamentos, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, eh, la estructura es el sujeto, en este caso puede ser apartamentos o casas o lo que ustedes gusten, ¿de acuerdo? Luego, el verbo, aquí ya no es el verbo to be, si ustedes se fijan, ¿ok? Ya es otro tipo de verbo, por ejemplo, puede ser have. Perdón. I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, so it can be any verb, uh, like in this case, it can be uh, have, like apartments have just as many rooms as houses, okay? So what is the structure? The subject, then we have the verb, it can be positive or it can be negative, just like here, okay? We were using the, the verb to be here. Here we have a different type of verb, but it can be positive or it can be negative too. Okay, and then we have as in as. Okay, we, tenemos esto también otra vez. Tenemos as o just as. Lo podemos hacer de las dos formas. Y en medio de estas dos como partículas, por así decirlo, tenemos eh, many. En el caso de que sea un nombre contable, aquí ya no va a ser un adjetivo. Aquí va a ser un nombre. ¿De acuerdo? Y va a ser un nombre contable con many o un nombre no contable con much, okay? So, like in the example, right? It says uh, the subject apartments uh, don't have, which is the verb, then we have as much privacy because privacy is something that we cannot count, okay? It is something abstract, okay? It's something that it doesn't have a shape, it's something that uh, we cannot count. So, as much privacy as houses the noun okay so we have two nouns in this case but one of them is the subject okay de acuerdo entonces guys eh, la diferencia es de que acá en medio de estas dos partículas va a ir many o much dependiendo de si es un nombre contable o no contable de acuerdo eh, y él también explicaba en el video de que hablando en el contexto de comparación de nombres eh, hablando acerca de casas o de apartamentos, estamos hablando de cosas que pueden estar dentro o fuera de la casa, como los cuartos, las ventanas, eh, los baños y ese tipo de cosas, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces nosotros podemos hablar, eh, hacer comparaciones en, entre casas y apartamentos para este caso, eh, utilizando estas estructuras, ¿de acuerdo? All right, uh, so do you have any questions about these guys? I think that uh, hopefully with this, it should be a little bit clear, right? Because I think that uh, we that we have more information now so we can understand. Okay, so do you have any questions about these guys? Si no tienen preguntas, vamos a continuar, okay? Vamos a continuar con la siguiente parte y probablemente pues vamos a practicar un poco más. Eh, porque el día de ayer practicamos, pero teníamos dudas. Tal vez ahora que ya salimos de las dudas, tal vez sea un poco más fácil que el día de ayer. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, sí. hemos visto la comparación con adjetivos y la comparación con nombres. Y el día de ayer, pues, vimos la evaluación con adjetivos y la evaluación con nombres. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, eh, y para evaluar con adjetivos, ¿qué, qué palabras utilizábamos? Utilizábamos... Eh, tanto enough como to y si se fijan es, es en este caso pues cuando es una comparación y evaluación utilizábamos acá el verbo to be en ambos casos apartments aren't big enough ok y por el otro lado pues teníamos otro tipo de verbo como eh, have o en this case it says cost ok houses cost too much money ok Apartments are too small for pets. De acuerdo, vamos a continuar entonces. Eh, vamos 
as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here, you can you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here, such as comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I'm going to. I'm sorry. Help here. You can adjectives to compare your house and your apartment. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here. You can you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here such as comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge. And if you want to use those adjectives when you can use this formula, right? Like for example, you can say, my house isn't as expensive as my neighbor's house. Or it could be the other way around. For example, you can say, my neighbor's house isn't as expensive as my house. At the same time, you also want to make comparisons with nouns. For example, you can say, my house doesn't cost as much money as my neighbor's house. Or again, it could be the other way around. You can you can say my neighbor's house doesn't cost as much money as Okay. Eh, de acuerdo, guys. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahora? Eh, vamos a practicar por unos minutos, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que quiero que hagamos? Eh, vamos a hacer este tipo de comparaciones como está acá. Vamos a utilizar comparación con nombres y comparación con adjetivos. Entonces, vamos a hacer grupos siempre. Lo que me gustaría que hiciéramos es lo siguiente. Eh, uno de ustedes eh, puede preguntarle a un compañero, por ejemplo, eh, How many windows does your house have? ¿Okay? ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene tu casa? Y nosotros le podemos contestar. Eh, ok, so my house has uh, four windows. Ok, and after that, Uh, the other person can say, uh, well, your house, oh, my house uh, doesn't have as many windows as your house, for example. Ok, entonces podemos ir como elaborando una pequeña conversación entre compañeros en la cual eh, primero solicitemos la información para que no sea tan como tan robótico, ¿verdad? Entonces eh, nosotros preguntamos la información, una cualidad la que queramos. Ustedes pueden preguntar, por ejemplo, How many rooms does your house have? Y la otra persona puede contestar. Well, my house has uh, four rooms. Uh, we have two bedrooms and we have uh, the living room. Eh, y la otra persona pues, puede también eh, proporcionar información. Y pues vamos a hacer eh, comparaciones eh, al final utilizando estas estructuras. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, no sé si... Queda claro lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Quiero que practiquemos, guys, y quiero que lo hagamos eh, de una forma un poco más elaborada, ¿de acuerdo? All right, so you don't have any question, guys. We are going to practice for about uh, 15 minutes, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and create the breakout rooms so we can practice. We're going to practice right now, okay? Bueno, vamos a practicar, guys. Permítanme un instante por acá. Voy a crear los, eh, los salones para que ustedes puedan eh, practicar. Y pues si tienen alguna pregunta, yo voy a estar con ustedes para que podamos eh, eh, desarrollar lo que tenemos que hacer, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces aquí vamos. <coughs>
por acá. How would I for you to do that? Let's join this. Hello, guys. So, hello. Eh, este, have three bedrooms, one, one bathroom, and, ¿cómo se dice cocina? Kitchen. How do you say cocina? Kitchen. Uh, wow. One kitchen. Okay. Very good. Uh, how about you, Emma? Uh, in my house, there is there are four bedrooms, uh, one living room, one kitchen. And uh, one bachelor and one for uh, us. Okay. Okay, so, well, in this case, uh, we can say uh, how many rooms does your house have, Fernando? How many rooms in total? Uh, three bedroom in one restroom. Okay. In one kitchen. In... Okay, very good. So three bedrooms, uh, one. Five rooms. Okay, so five rooms in total. Okay. And how about you, Emma? How many bedrooms, uh, how many rooms does your house have? Uh, four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Okay. All right. So, for example, in this case, we could say something like uh, Fernando's uh, house. The, let's say, for example, right? It's just, um, it's not, <laughs> it's not like this is the case, but it's just an example. Okay. So we can say like uh, Fernando's house uh, has as many rooms as Emma house. Okay. We can say something like that. We're making like a comparison. In this case, we're comparing the number of rooms that each Can house have. Excuse me? Can you repeat? Yes, yes. All right, so we can say something like, let's say that Fernando's house has more rooms than your house, Emma. So in that case, we can say that Fernando's house has as many rooms as your house, okay? So we're comparing the number of rooms, okay? Or Fernando can say that my house doesn't have as many rooms as your house, for example. Okay. Okay? Creo que está un poquito más eh, como complejo, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos que usar como más, más palabras. Pero... Eh, Me gusta cómo lo están haciendo. Muy buen trabajo, guys. 
porque estamos utilizando eh, más vocabulario, ¿verdad? Que eso es lo que quiero, que podamos eh, utilizar más palabras, que no nos quedemos encerrados solamente en una estructura nada más. Tenemos que tener como más eh, soltura al momento de, de expresarnos. Así que muy buen trabajo, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta ahora. No, ¿Y pues. otro ejemplo, como cuál podría ser, por ejemplo, de pregunta? Eh, uh, well, I was saying that you can say something like, uh, you can ask Emma, how many windows does your house have? Or you can say, um, uh, how much uh, privacy uh, do you have in your house? Do you think that you have a lot of privacy or not too much? Okay, and you can, she can say like, well, I think that uh, my house has a good privacy. Uh, you can say that your house doesn't have as much privacy as her house, for example. So we can say things like that, okay? Entonces hay diferentes como cosas acerca de la casa de las que podemos hablar. Podemos hablar acerca de lo que les estaba diciendo. Los cuartos, podemos hablar de las ventanas. Eh, las puertas, la privacidad, si es seguro o si es peligroso, cosas por el estilo. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So uh, you can practice uh, all other options too. I mean, uh, I just want this uh, time so you can practice or so you can just say whatever you guys want to do. Okay. So that's that's fine. Teacher. Yes. Can I ask about people? How many people live in your house? Yes, yes, you can do that too. Yes, I mean, uh, you can ask how many people live in your house and probably the other person is going to answer. Uh, I live with my husband or whatever, with my wife. Uh, so we are like four people in total. And then, I mean, you can say things like that. So that's fine. That's fine too. Okay. Yeah, very good, Joel. That, that would be another option. Ok, guys. Entonces lo voy a dejar por ahorita. Voy a revisar con otro grupo, ¿de acuerdo? Así que continuemos. Eh, lo están haciendo bien. Pueden preguntar de lo que ustedes gusten, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Bye, guys. Bye. Ok. No, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó con Marisela? Se fue. <risa> se fue. Le dio nervios y se fue. <risa> se puso nervioso. No, pero eh, han estado bien. <risa> ok. Ahí está. Ahí está, de regreso. <risa> Hola, Marisela, ¿qué pasó? Uh, I don't know, coach. What's <risa> ok, that's ok. No worries. Okay, so guys, uh, do you have any examples so far? Have you been able to practice at this point? Or do you have any questions about what we are doing? Um, I was uh, writing some examples. Okay. Um, but I don't know if it's correct. I don't arrive as early as I expected. Mm -hmm. he, she's attracted as her sister. It's, it is a call. Today, as it was, as it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, very y, good. So like... All right, very good. Very good job, Marisela. All right, and then uh, we can try to, we can try to use the same structure so we can talk about other things, okay? Like uh, houses, for example, which is the, you know, basically what we just learned in the class, okay? So you can talk about your house And for example, you can compare your house with your neighbor, or you can compare your house with Patricia's house, ¿ok? Ok. Entonces yo les estaba diciendo de que, por ejemplo, eh, Patricia podía decir, bueno, mi casa tiene cuatro ventanas y tiene tres cuartos, por ejemplo. Y usted, Marisela, puede decir, eh, digamos, su casa tiene tres ventanas nada más, por ejemplo. Entonces, eh, pudiéramos hacer una comparación entre ambas. Pudiéramos decir, eh, usted, Marisela, pudiera decir, so my house 
doesn't have as many windows as your house. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah. Pero podemos hacerlo así. Como comparar estas cualidades entre las casas de ambas. Entonces yo, yo lo que les decía de que ustedes podían preguntarse, ¿de acuerdo? Era como que usted, Marisela, le pregunta a Patricia. All right, so how many windows does your house have? Okay, she's going to answer. All right, so my house has uh, three windows. And then um, you can say uh, what I just mentioned about, you can make the comparison between the two mm -hmm. of them. Got it. Ok, entonces eso es lo que estamos intentando hacer, guys. Así okay. que, pero muy bien los ejemplos, muy buenos de verdad, Maricela. Entonces intentemos hacer eso para que puedan ustedes practicar, ok. Ok, coach. Ok. Very good, thank you. Ok, so, let's see. Okay. Ya nos están llamando. Bueno, pero gracias por ayudarme. <risa> Gracias a usted por la práctica. Ay, Hola. Sí, ya los escuché. Ay, no escucho. <risa> bueno, Ay, no, eso me, me está costando. <risa> ¿Qué, qué, parte, algo... ¿Qué parte le está costando, Sara? Oh, lo que pasa es que yo ando algo perdida, teacher, porque ayer ayer me conecté, pero yo me sentía mal y la puse ah, okay. del teléfono para escucharla y me dormí. Y Entiendo. ahora estoy como medio agarrando la idea, pero me sí. cuesta. Entiendo, <ríe> Entonces ¿no? esto, como uh -huh. estas comparaciones, porque me estaba diciendo el compañero que es como, no es, ¿cómo que le dijera? Cuando va, que el as, no sé si así le entendía ¿Sí? a René que lo vamos a utilizar como ese lo utilizamos cuando, para comparar no son para, para comparar correcto correcto lo podemos utilizar para comparar y lo podemos utilizar con adjetivos y con nombres con las dos cosas ¿ok? ajá entonces eh, Pero, por... pues cuando vamos a utilizar el, el, el verbo normal y como con el have y el y el to be <risa> Ahí eh, me perdí con esas cosas, esas dos cosas. Eh, sí, ok, ok, está bien. Eh, sí, lo que pasa es que son como varias cositas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, vaya, usted puede utilizar ambos para ambos casos. Por ejemplo, para hacer una comparación con adjetivos, usted utiliza uh -huh. el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. usted, usted puede decir apartments are as expensive as houses. Ok, entonces está utilizando el verbo to be en ese caso. Y estamos utilizando un adjetivo también, que es caro, ¿de acuerdo? Expensive. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh. apartments are as expensive uh -huh. as houses. Entonces, ahí es una comparación utilizando el verbo to be y un adjetivo. También puedo utilizarlo para, eh, en este caso, comparar nombres. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, eh, apartments have as many rooms as houses. Okay. Los apartamentos tienen eh, la misma cantidad de cuartos que las casas. Entonces lo podemos hacer de las dos formas. Entonces recuerde que as es para hacer una comparación. As, comparación. ¿De acuerdo? Ya por el otro lado tenemos eh, el uso de palabras como enough y to. Y eso lo utilizamos para hacer una evaluación. Entonces nosotros decimos eh, houses does, doesn't have no, I'm sorry. Houses don't have enough rooms for families. Okay? That will be an evaluation. Esa es una evaluación. ¿De acuerdo? Utilizando uh -huh. Uh -huh. el verbo normal. Y también podemos decir uh, houses are uh, convenient enough or big enough for families. Si se fija, eh, podemos utilizar el verbo to be o el verbo normal también en este caso. Solo que cuando nosotros utilizamos enough o cuando utilizamos to, estamos haciendo una evaluación, ¿de acuerdo? Y la comparación la hacemos utilizando as, ¿ok? As. Houses are as. En ese caso ya es una comparación, ¿de acuerdo? As para comparar. Uh -huh. As para comparar, enough y to es para una evaluación. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Vale, ya más o menos. <risa> sí, okay. Eh, no se preocupe, no se preocupe, Sara. Eh, vamos a seguir practicando. Así que si todavía tiene alguna duda, pues no hay problema. Lo puede revisar otra vez más. Pero esa es como la, como la clave. O sea, solamente tenemos que ver que as es para comparaciones y enough y tú es para evaluar. ¿De acuerdo? Esa es la diferencia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vale, digamos que si yo quiero quiero decir que este el, el pero no sé si cabe aquí en esta Sí, diga. como el tipo de evaluación verdad que si un el, el refrigerador es más útil que un televisor digamos Ok, o sea, eso, no sé si se puede eso está bien, eso es una forma válida, pero en ese caso usted está comparando, porque usted está comparando eh, el televisor. La perdón, utilidad de una cosa con la otra. Ajá. Correcto, son dos. El televisor dos con el refrigerador. El Ajá. televisor con el refrigerador. En cambio, Ajá. cuando usted está evaluando, usted utiliza solamente una cosa. Por ejemplo, no, usted, diría, pues... usted diría, por ejemplo, que el refrigerador es conveniente o es suficientemente bueno para algo y ya entonces no tendría dos cosas sino que solamente una esa es otra de las claves sí vale. entonces solo tiene que ser una no es no hacer comparación entre dos solo como estar evaluando una correcto sí, ya, ya le entendí ya le entendí no ahí está comparación. ahí está correcto Exactamente, cuando hacemos la comparación son dos cosas y cuando es una evaluación solamente una cosa y decimos por ejemplo es suficientemente grande, es demasiado pequeño, es demasiado caro y ya, Entonces, no lo comparamos ah, con nada más, así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí vamos a utilizar el, el enough. Correcto, enough. Enough. Uh -huh. Enough. 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 Okay. Ya. Okay. Ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Ya mañana tal vez. Ahí vamos. Ya mañana tal vez. Bye, está bien. Está bien. Very good, very good, Sarah. So in this case, uh, we are going to finish with the activity. We are going to go back. So I can just uh, say goodbye. Okay. So that is what we are going to do. Okay. Bye. Okay. Here we go. Bye. Let's see. Aquí vamos. Leave the room. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much, guys, for staying. Thank you. All right, guys. So I just wanted to say goodbye. Um, I can see that we we are making progress. I think that we probably still need to practice a little bit more, okay? But I can see that now we have a better understanding of the subject, okay? So, all right, guys. Uh, this is going to be it for today. I just wanted to say goodbye. And, well... I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? So we can probably practice a little bit more and so we can probably take a look on some new information tomorrow, okay? So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye for the practice, teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.